Okay, guys. I uh, want to share with you these uh, 511 Tactical Pants. These are the Ridgeline Pants from them. Uh, just a very simple design, very clean, uh, and not super tactical, right? There's no cargo pants. They don't look like anything special. They look like pretty regular pants uh, that you can put in just about any old outfit that you're going to be throwing together. And I really, really like them for that. I hope you like the, uh, the chair that I've used in this video to serve as our backdrop. Uh, <clears throat> not the most ideal thing in the world, but we're going to make it work today. Uh, so let me quickly give you the features here. And hopefully I can pull these up and get you nice and close. There we go. So you can see now they've got the FlexTac 6.76 ounce ripstop fabric. So there is a little bit of stretch here. Okay. And then they do have the ripstop checkering that you've seen in lots of things before. Okay. Let me throw these back down where they were. There we go. <clears throat> quickly go over the other features for you. Uh, they do have bar tacking in a number of, you know, places where, you know, there's extra stress on those seams or where it's going to be hard use. Uh, they've also got the nice little touch here with the reinforced pocket for your knife going in and out. <clears throat> uh, the seams and all of the, the moving parts are going to be nicely reinforced so that you get a lot of durability out of these pants. I really, really appreciate that they do have its teflon anti-stain coating and my experience with that has been really really good if you're the kind of guy like me uh, who feels like when you need to get in a car to go for any length of distance uh, or a car ride of any uh, distance i like to grab a coffee and drink that on the way and on more than one occasion i've spilled coffee on these and as you can see uh, there's no staining anywhere and that's because they have that coating it does work pretty well uh, nice large pockets, uh, definitely bigger than your average jean pocket. Now, that can be a plus and a minus for you. If you're used to it, it's no big big deal, but things are going to drop down into these pockets pretty deep. So if I can just demonstrate real quickly for you here, uh, there is the bottom of that pocket all the way down here. So you can see there's the top, there's the bottom. It's quite a good, like probably six, seven inches. Uh, this secondary pocket is almost as deep as the other pocket which is good because you can fit like your cell phone in there you can fit uh, <clears throat> even a fairly large folder in there without too much difficulty but the fact that those pockets are right on top of each other is maybe not ideal for everyone uh, let me quickly kind of flip these guys over there we go and you can see how the back looks there you've got the typical back butt pockets but then you also have these high hip pockets is what I like to call them. I don't even know or care what 511 calls them. That's what we're going with. Uh, nice big belt loops here. It will accommodate a two inch belt. <clears throat> that can be good or bad. The one downside is if you mostly wear inch and a half belts or even thinner, you're gonna get some, some room for play you know, in here where your belt can kind of move up and down. To me, not a big deal. I generally wear a wider belt so it doesn't cause much of a problem. Uh, finally, very quickly, as usual, these do have the YKK zippers, which I find to be a nice touch as they tend to stand up pretty well over time. I'll flip these guys back over so we're looking at the front. <clears throat> okay, so everything looks to be in frame the way that we want it. <clears throat> so let me talk about what I like and what I dislike. So the first thing, I like the fact that these pants have that little bit of stretch to them. I like the fact that they fit very comfortably and give me a lot of range of motion. I also like that these don't have cargo pockets, but I can still carry a lot of gear around. And, you know, us gear geeks tend to want to do that, right? We want to be able to carry a bunch of different stuff. And that becomes even more important in the warmer weather. Uh, it's winter right now, so you're almost always wearing a coat, which means you've got coat pockets for a lot of extra stuff. That's going to go away pretty quickly, and so a pair of pants like this that has lots of extra space is really, really nice. Um, I think 511 has a short configuration in these pants, and I'd really like to pick up a pair of shorts like this because, again, you get the the, e the comfort and the um, range of motion, and you don't have those giant cargo pockets, but you still get to carry lots and lots of stuff. I will try and put an Amazon link to these pants on uh, in the description box. The reality is it's not that reliable. I've had good and bad experiences with Amazon and 511. They just, uh, especially Amazon.ca, 
it's just a bit of a crapshoot whether or not they're going to have the specific pants you're looking for. <clears throat> uh, I've already talked about the mobility. That's definitely on the good side. The other thing I like about these pants is the versatility, okay? Uh, you can wear these as, you know, sort of tactical pants, right? You can wear them as a, an ambulance attendant or a firefighter. I wore these when I was doing uh, rope rescue training and they worked really well for that. <clears throat> but if you just throw a belt on and, and have a button down shirt tucked in, they also look fine in that configuration as well. And for that reason, I like this particular model of 511 pants more than a lot of the others that I've tried. Um, they're not perfect for everything and sometimes you do want cargo pants, uh, but generally speaking, these work out really, really well. Uh, the other thing that I like, this is definitely a big pro for 511 pants and other pants as well. Uh, the material that these guys are made out of really, really deals with water well. One, a lot of the water will just beat up on them if it's just raining or something. Uh, I've worn these a lot of times. If I know that, you know, I'm going to have to do some snow shoveling either when I get to work or I'm going to have to take a break through the day and, and clean, clear some snow, I'll pick these pants to wear because the snow, the water from the snow just doesn't stick to them and they don't stay wet for very long, even if they do get wet. So for water, these are excellent, excellent pants. That means great for just about any kind of outdoor activity. The only thing is they're pretty thin, okay? So if you're gonna be spending a lot of time crawling around on your hands and knees, uh, if you're gonna be outside and exposed to the weather for a long time, you may either wanna wear some kind of thermal layer, you know, long johns or something, uh, or go with a thicker, heavier pant. <clears throat> on the dislike side, there's not too much for me to dislike about these. I'm, I'm sure some people are not gonna love the ripstop checkering, although I don't find it that bad, okay? Uh, and I, I'm just gonna assume most of you are not gonna mind. I'm sure there'll be some people who look at that and feel like, you know, these pants look too much like operator, outdoor type of pants, okay? To me, that's not a thing. And in fact, where I live, a lot of people wear these as their daily wear pants because, you know, I live in a small town and there's a lot of outdoor activities that go on. <clears throat> so that that out that uh, ripstop fabric is going to put some people off. To me, it's not an issue. The real thing that I would say is an actual thing that I dislike about these pants is the location of this mini pocket here. I really wish, I've got some 511s where the mini pocket is over here, and I wish they did that with these. It would allow me to get some separation between the stuff that I've got in this main pocket and the stuff in this pocket. If it was down here, I would like that a lot better. Overall, I find these pants to be really, really good looking pants. They're comfortable. By the way, before we, now that I've kind of gone over all the features, uh, I want to share what these look like when they're on. And I want to give you some shots of me putting all kinds of gear in here. So I'm going to roll in a, a shot right now of me just putting on a, putting much stuff in the Okay pot. guys, so here are the 511 Ridgeline pants on. Just want to give you a kind of a quick rundown of how they look when they're on the mobility that they allow. And then I'm going to put a bunch of stuff in my pocket so you can see that they do work pretty well for carrying a bunch of junk around uh, the way we are uh, prone to do. So in terms of mobility, you know, I do have a nice full range of motion. I can get my legs up nice and high. Uh, I can squat right down, you know, gives me lots and lots of room to maneuver, which I really, really appreciate. Uh, let me go ahead and load up some stuff here so I can show you. Some of this stuff is from my actual EDC. I've got, grabbed a couple of extra things as well. So my EDC today, my knife is actually the JX6 from Bark River. Normally I carry these right back here in this high hip pocket. The other thing I'll put in the high hip pocket is a large um, light. If I'm carrying a bigger light like this, I really like to put it back here. It's out of the way, I can drive with this, it's very comfortable, no issues. Uh, if you start moving these up here, uh, or even more so up here, when you bend your leg, they can start to get uncomfortable. Where back here, uh, it just slides in really nicely and doesn't cause much of an issue in terms of impeding your movement at all. <clears throat> OLED S Mini, drop that guy right down there in the bottom of that pocket. Uh, my pager. Multi-tool. By the way, one thing I want to point out is these front little pockets here, they're kind of a mini pocket, but they're actually pretty big. So let's grab a couple of folders. Uh, if I put this one back closer to my hip, this is the, uh, what is it, QSP, uh, one of their folders. You can find them on Amazon. I've got this one for review. 
And then I've got my Manix 2 lock bag as well. Uh, I could fit a little more in here. If I wanted to fit a wallet, a cell phone, I could still do that. But I think that's enough to kind of give you an idea of how these pants work and the fact that they are quite capable of carrying quite a bit of stuff. The one challenge you do sometimes have is notice how I sort of have to offset these two knives. These two pockets, this one and this one, are literally right on top of each other. And that's not an ideal configuration. I would actually like to see these moved more to the front the way they are on some of the other 511 pants, but otherwise, uh, I'm pretty darn happy with these. Okay, so now that you've seen that these do provide a lot of mobility, they provide lots of space for all the things you wanna carry around with you, let me give you my overall conclusion. And if you haven't guessed by now, the conclusion that I'm gonna draw on these is really, really good. In fact, um, these might be my favorite 511 pants. I would have said the cargo pants before the Alpine or something. I can't remember the, the model number of the others. I will do a review on those as well coming up here. But these Ridgeline pants have been my favorite so far. They're more versatile. They don't ask you to sacrifice much in terms of what you can carry. And they look a little more normal. I, I know that's not, uh, <laughs> that's not exactly the term I'm looking for, but you know, I regularly wear these to work. I regularly wear them for, you know, teaching classes and stuff like that. And I can just throw on a button down shirt, tuck them in, put a belt on and they, that dresses them up. You can also throw a t-shirt on and dress them down and they, they work for just about every situation. So for all of those reasons listed, I really, really like these particular 511 pants. I'm going to say they are highly, highly recommended. I'm not sure what the price is everywhere. I know I got these on sale, so I can't, I can't speak to what the prices are everywhere. If you feel so inclined, go ahead and put a price uh, at you know whatever your local store is or maybe on Amazon uh, in the description box down below. I will put a link in the description box to amazon.ca. And if you use that link, it will help out the channel. Thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and we will talk to you soon.